Good morning. I want to talk to you about something very near and dear to my heart. And that's about feeling strong and confident in the world that you live in today. Oftentimes we approach things that are difficult and we just don't know how to, to move forward with confidence or boldness because of the way that our life has, has come up against us is sometimes how it feels. But today I, I want to share something really important. It's not about what the world does or how the world comes at you or the secret circumstance or the situation that you're in. Everything that changes your confidence level is how you choose to perceive every situation. Like right now, most people wouldn't realize that I grew up absolutely terrified of groups of five people or more. In fact, I'm still not the most comfortable in those settings, but I have an extreme confidence about what I'm doing for two reasons. A, I know my purpose, and that's to serve others and to add immense value, to share with you the things that I've learned to overcome the obstacles in my life. That gives me purpose, and with purpose comes the confidence that that's what I'm here for, and therefore, nothing should hold me back from it. The second is a, is a simple perception that what I have is something to give, therefore, I'm not asking for anything from you. I'm not asking or seeking your approval. I'm not seeking your validation. And therefore, whether or not I receive it or don't receive it is not going to negatively impact me. What will positively impact me is the very fact that I wish to give you the best of who I am and the best of what I've accomplished in life. So with that, I just want you to encourage yourself each day by saying, what is my purpose? What value can I add to others without seeking anything in return. Because when you begin to act according to your purpose, knowing the value that you're offering into the world, you'll have a great amount of confidence to move forward. There's something I learned from a, a gentleman, Brendan Burchard, it's called the confidence competency loop. See, the more competent I become about a subject, the more I learn about it, the more I understand it, the better I can explain it, the more confident that I will become. And the more confident I am, the more, more apt I am to actually go and learn more. So the more confident, then I become more competent. And the more competent I become, the more confident I am. So when you're seeking out to improve on something in your confidence level, make sure that you know what that is and that you research it, that you spend time with it, that you put it into practice. A simple skill like standing in front of a camera and talking to a complete stranger. This is something that you become more and more confident with the more and more you do it. So I encourage you, do whatever you've got to do to spend time doing the thing that's hard now so that you can reap the results for the rest of your life. As always, I hope this served you. I love you. You take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye now.